For any of you who don't know who I am, I'm Henry Lincoln, and in 1972 I introduced the enigma of Renaud Chateau to the outside world, outside France that is. Uh, all that was a very long time ago, and as the years passed I began to realize that somebody was going to have to take on the work that I was doing. I first met Henry Lincoln while leading a tour with my grandmother in the southwest of France. We hired him to show our group around Ren Le Chateau and give us all the inside secrets. But when the tour had finished and everyone was milling about looking at things, he pulled me aside. He laid a hand on my shoulder and looked me right in the eyes and said, Il faut que tu reviennes. J'ai besoin de toi. You must come back. I need you. Alicia had been the one I'd been waiting for for a long time. I knew that somebody would have to appear who had a lot of the basic essentials that you need for this story. It had to be somebody who was <coughs> at least bilingual in a, a French and English. Because this is essentially a French story and so it had to be somebody who could speak the language, but also who had some level of affinity for the curiosity of the history and the mystery that surrounds this story. After we met, I walked El Camino de Santiago, a pilgrimage route across Spain, 500 miles. And when I got to the end, I knew exactly what I needed to do. I packed up my things, and I went to stay in the little village of Rennes-les-Bains, sort of at the foot of Rennes-le-Chateau in the long dock of southwest France. And there began my studies with Henry Lincoln and the revelations that would change my life. But there was a huge amount of information which we had to transfer or attempt to transfer from my head into hers. Because when I'm not here anymore, it's going to be up to her to keep the work going. And that means it needs someone who understands the story and has no misconceptions about it. I think I can say that I can trust Alicia to follow on with what I've been doing for the last 40 plus years. You better not let me down, you. <laughs> Henry Lincoln's Holy Blood, Holy Grail shocked the world in 1982, but his research didn't end there. Over the coming weeks and months, we'll be posting a video series exploring some of the mysteries to which he's dedicated his life. Join us as we delve into the mystery and let us show you truths so important that they could only be set down in secret codes. <laughs>